Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO City Heavy Cargo Transport Set. This is set number 60183, comes with 310 pieces. Looks like we're going to build a, a semi-truck with a flatbed trailer and a helicopter. Um, back of the box kind of shows some of the play features. So, go ahead and break our seal, turn this down, and... Jump right into this build. All right, so there's our contents. It looks like we have two instruction books. We have a eh, medium-sized sticker sheet. I was gonna say small, but it's kind of more on the medium side. And we have numbered bags. Let's see, there's bag one. We have a four, a three, a two. And then we also have this loose plate. Contents of bag one out. All right. So let's jump right into this. We have a minifigure to start with. It's gonna be a female figure. She has this pretty cool um, green plaid jacket on and kind of a lighter blue color undershirt. I really like this hat hair combo piece. So you can see it's, um, it's got the hair molded into the hat. The newer piece, I believe they started using that last year. So that is our only minifigure for this bag. So we'll zoom back out a bit and begin the build. Looks like we're gonna start building the, the semi truck portion. Two of these plates that have the brick kind of molded into it. Right there, and one more. This guy has another plate on it. Two long grayish plates and a panel. Again, the fender pieces already. Have a couple panels in between those two fender pieces. Put a couple more on right there. Two of these reddish brown bricks. And I keep bumping the panels off. I mean the fenders off. Set that down for a second as we build onto the side panels. This bracket that we're going to put these pieces on, and these are going to represent the little ladder piece that goes up into the cab of the truck. And we're going to repeat that for the other side. goes there. All right, two more fenders. This red brick with studs on the side. And we have a pretty large red plate. Goes over everything. We have another large red plate. And this, <clears throat> it's gonna get our first sticker. 
sticker number five. We'll go on the side of this brick. A tile and a jumper tile. Another brick with another sticker. Good enough. Sticker number three. We'll go on this yellow panel. couple of brake lights and then this piece will go right there all right that completes our first bag of parts so let's quickly move on to bag number two okay we have everything for our second bag out and we're going to continue on with this semi piece we're basically going to finish the build of it with all the parts in this second bag. No minifigures in this bag. I guess we'll get to some more of them in the final two bags of the set. Do have this Technic brick piece. And then two of these bricks that have clip on the side. Good assortment of red pieces in this set, from what I can tell so far. Red and black, it's kind of the color scheme of this truck. Right, this way, this dark bluish gray panel. Now we have two corner bricks. piece there. Alright, so this is interesting. We have this black brick with a clip. Put a regular brick on top. And then another black brick with a clip. We're going to clip on yellow bars. Those two parts go right there. Now we have two more corner bricks. And two of the two by three tiles. <clears throat> studs on the side, a steering wheel, and one more door. These doors are more or less for, for show. You really can't squeeze a minifigure through them when you open it. And we have our standard Lego City issued coffee mug. Assortment of plates. Tra 
trans orange cheese slopes. Two of these black cheese wedge pieces and these are gonna get stickers. Sticker number eight will go on this side and you can see the little warning stripe stickers. And sticker number nine will go right here. Number three, it's another license plate sticker with the little warning stripe. That goes down there. this little bumper bar piece so this whole thing will snap on right there knocking the coffee mug off here's our windscreen Portion right there. Have this little light bar that'll go on the top. Put two of these orange dome lights right there. Have sticker number one go on this tile. do the rear view mirror pieces. Turn this around, we have a smokestack part that'll go there. Walkie talkie accessory here around we have another smokestack piece and a wrench we have a yellow crate Let's simply attach in there and we have our wheels and tires so there's six of these wheels and six of the tires we just push them into each other just like that and I put five of them together when I open the bag just to help speed stuff up a little bit so just putting those on right now and that completes the truck it also completes instruction book number one so the minifigure we built in the first bag is the truck driver so you see you have to take the roof off of the top of the truck to get her in you can't open the door to get her in there. But once she's in there, looks pretty cool. So we are gonna move on to our second instruction book and bag number three right now. Okay, we have everything for our third bag of parts out. Um, we are gonna use this loose plate that came in the box with all the other bags. Um, there's no minifigures in this bag. Um, it appears to, to be that we have one more minifigure remaining in the set and it will be built in our last bag of parts. So this is the trailer that is going to be attached to the rig that will also be where the helicopter will be transported around with. 
and uh, kind of a interesting story about helicopters and trailers. Um, I've actually ridden in a helicopter um, and when we went to go take a ride in the helicopter we actually went to someone's house because that is where they were gonna take off from the helicopter. They lived on a pretty big piece of land. It was like a ranch. So there's, you know, probably about four or five acres of land that this guy owned. But anyway, the helicopter that we were taken off in was on a trailer. It was parked back in a uh, kind of a big driveway area where you have trucks and other type of stuff. So, um, you know, being that a helicopter, you know, takes off straight up in the air, you really don't need a runway or anything, just so long as the trailer is in a pretty wide open space that once the rotors start going, it takes off. So, um, that was kind of fun. So I didn't quite understand how we were gonna get the helicopter back on the trailer. Cause I was thinking, surely there's no way you can land on the trailer. Well, after we had flown around for about 45 minutes or so, come back, we're slowly approaching the ranch and he, he brings it down and rotates it around and pretty much lands it straight down back on the trailer right where he was. So it was a, a fun experience, not only to ride in the helicopter, being my first time in a helicopter, but also seeing kind of the, the interesting way that they took off and landed the helicopter. So I imagine the set is going to be pretty much just the same principle where the truck driver can more or less drive around with the, the helicopter on the trailer and the helicopter just lifts off straight off of the trailer. No runway needed. Here we have two of these black Z-clip type plates. That's what I like to call them. And two plates with clips on the side. We're gonna make a octan colored fuel tank. The standard Lego City fuel canister color. It's the white, green, red, white striped pieces. All right, so this goes there. Make sure to get that on right. So we have a fire extinguisher clip on this side and a shovel clip on the other side. We have these trans orange one by one round tiles. And then we're gonna do four of the trans red. One, two, three, and four. With a white tile. These will get stickers. Sticker number two being the warning stripe. Sticker number 10. There. This attaches back there. And then just like our previous bag, we have the six 
wheels and tires, which I already pre-assembled. And we'll just connect them all on here, just like that. So this clips on there, and that's our trailer. All right, so that completes bag three. So let's move on to our fourth and final bag of parts right now. Okay, we have everything for our last bag out. We do finally have our last minifigure. It's the helicopter pilot. And he's got some dark bluish gray pants. Just gotta find him. See, he has a, a jacket on. Got some gray gloves. We're gonna put the head on. He has the face of concentration. Got a helmet and the little, uh, windscreen visor type piece. So that's our final minifigure, kind of basic. The printed jacket is kind of the only thing that's semi-unique with the, the minifigure itself. All right, so we have these. Plates and other sorted parts. That yellow piece there, we have an inverted slope. Squeeze that guy on. Looks good. Plate, a grill tile. Two of these red plates and this red wedge plate. A lever and a seat. Now we have two headlight bricks. Two of these um, red cheese slopes. Here's a fun kind of newer piece. The one by one by one and two thirds with the two studs on the side. A white brick. Put stickers on them. Sticker four, sticker seven. Okay. On. We have some trans green plate and a trans red plate, yellow tile. Two red tiles. Two white slopes. Two of these red inverted curved slopes. Move that to the side for a second. We have our helicopter skids. Plate on it, we turn it upside down and we have these inverted baby bow shapes to help hold that plate on. Turn it back around and this 
next right there. Move that to the side again. stuff I used to be bad about dropping stuff like every video I would drop a, a couple pieces gotten a lot better over the years I'm sure people that have been watching my videos for a very long time as uh, remember the days of me dropping stuff shape we have our vertical wing and this will get a couple stickers first one going right there and this one this what time it is it's the last sticker time Take pieces, it's a curved slope part, tile with a Technic pin, another tile with a Technic pin, and this will get the side rotor. That piece will go there. Helicopter's coming together pretty well. We have our windscreen. A couple of yellow. Those are cool because when you spin the rotor, I'll stick it on here, um, kind of indicates where the edge is so you hopefully don't put your finger in it, chop your finger off. It actually won't chop your finger off, but that's, you get the idea. All right, so we have these little pieces connected to this chain element. And then this is cool, we take the hook part that has a stud on the end and hook it to the other chain and kind of create this little dangling hook piece. So the way this works is we connect the yellow clip there, bring the hook around, hook it onto the back of the helicopter. And then the uh, they give us an extra chain, which I guess is pretty cool if you want to extend it or if maybe you lose it for some reason. Um, but that completes the build of it, so let's back this up a little bit and see what we have here. We have a helicopter that will simply go right there. Of course you have the truck with the um, truck driver, helicopter pilot, and then of course the play feature, one of the play features is the helicopter can fly and hook that hook onto something. In this case, it's the fuel canister. And, uh, give it a little help to lift it up and then there it goes. Can drop it down and so forth. But you can really hook that hook onto anything that uh, really has a a Lego connection, you can see it even hooks onto that pretty well. So the playability with this is limited to strictly your imagination. So get crazy with it and have fun with it. Take the stuff apart, build something else, 
do all the other things that are fun to do with Lego. All right, so that's gonna do it for this one. I really appreciate everyone that watched this video. If you loved this video and you wanna see more just like it, there's gonna be links down below. I've got a ton of Lego City build videos. You can binge watch it for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, if you love other things besides Lego City, check out all the other links I also have down there. Um, all kinds of Lego build videos, so you're in the right spot for these type of build videos. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything else in the future, and we'll see you in the next one.